It gets really loud. <laughs> Up. So we got the bouncy house set up. It's bringing people over for a kid's birthday party, a grandkid's birthday party. We got a ton of these misters running around this erector set. The whole reason I built this erector set was because of all the solar panels I put up there off grid. 22 of them. So we got the misters going. But I also just, I'm experimenting with something else. And don't mind the mess back in the back 40 of the house. This is where I put all my experimental junk or stuff I get my hands on. Here's an EcoBlue with three misters hooked up. I just turned the uh, fan speed down because it was blasting. But you can see, even on the fan speed turned down, the mist blowing into this general area right here. It just looks like fog. One thing, uh, this is just a test, so I just have it all bolted up on this thing with, with C-clamps. It's just, it just clamped up. First for testing, see how it works today. I'm going to make a steel uh, something with some wheels or something, make this portable, and put a, I want to put a cone on it to, to concentrate and accelerate the air just a little bit. Um, it's actually kind of blowing better than I thought it was, though, without having a cone just being open like this. It is actually very directional. It's like I feel nothing right here, and then it's right here. So maybe it doesn't need a cone. But one thing about the misters, though, is it's this is low pressure here, right off of there. This one going through the solenoid valve goes over here. I actually, actually just got done reworking all this. So this system over here is on your high pressure pump, and I have it set up where it just turns off with this switch, shuts off this pump, turns off the water with that valve, <laughs> cheap Amazon valve. And then, uh, so if we just want to use it, we just turn it on. And then the other thing I just hooked up was after we turn it off is to open this valve so it just blasts out all the water and hopefully sucks in air in all the nozzles. We'll see if they don't plug up this fast. You can see this one's already spraying funny and that's a new tip. But you get what you get on Amazon. So anyway, before I cut the video, let me crank this back at the high speed. I got the little potentiometer back here. And by the way, this is, I put it over there so none of the kids that are coming over hopefully touch it. I have a pseudo ground just to make sure this is grounded. I almost felt, thought I felt a little bit of current when I was touching this earlier without the ground, so that wasn't good, right? This is on a GFI, by the way. But uh, I have this going through my step-up voltage doubler circuit. So it rectifies through one diode, goes through, charges your capacitor on one half sine wave. The other half basically effectively puts the charged voltage of that with the other half of the sine wave to dump into the secondary capacitors, which is what's in here. So this 208, 230 volt AC charges up its DC bank, its bus, its capacitor, you know, two 330 volts DC in there. Off the 120 volt AC input works fine. And I, without the load, using the full load of this free air, it doesn't miss a beat. It doesn't freak out. So I'm gonna turn it up. It gets really loud. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, probably need to put some expanded metal over the intake or something one of these days. Uh, if I have to permanently mount that onto <laughs> something. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it's, there's water vapor just shooting over into this area. So, see how that works. It's just a little on the loud side. That's why I just turned it down a few minutes ago. I mean, standing over here, it isn't too loud. So I might leave it cranked. And the uh, interesting thing is, right now I just have it running on an extension cord coming from my little 120 volt outlet down there. But one of these days I'm, I've been meaning to put an outlet here coming right off of the DC. This is DC high voltage right off the solar in here so i'd like to put some sort of waterproof receptacle just for tying right into the high voltage dc and this is a 330 volt because it's 30 volt nominal voltage times 11 in series making it 330 doubled up so it's a 11 s2p system when it when the inverter is really taxing it it runs around 300 volts so say i got 300 volts um 
you could take that 300 volts DC and plug it right into an ECM or a VFD, and you can run things right off the solar, which I proved a couple years ago. I was running my whole three-ton Linux three-phase AC with uh, right off of this for a little bit just to see if it would do it, and it would. So, anyway, that's cool. That's just what I'm doing today. Kids' birthday party, and I'm, we're doing Frankenstein shit. <laughs> that don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff catch you guys later